Okay, so now that we have created one of the database in data stacks Astra, next thing we will be doing the CRUD operation on that database. So if you have created your account on data stacks and also created your database, you are ready to go. So click on your database name, then you have SQL or SQL console, click on that. Right. So here you can interact with your database right from here. As you can see, it has already given you that option. You can also open this SQL in another tab. So let's see how that works. Right, so let it load. Meanwhile, you can go through your database name and the key space name right so here we have our sql console in a bit better tab option here you can see now i'm going to zoom in on this so that you can see i'm going to use the key space that we created earlier right so here you see you will have to use semicolon before using any form of operation right you can go through your cassandra query language reference to see how the command works right now we have our database we have key space and we also use keyword called use then followed by name of key space then your semicolon to end the statement right then you have like create table and then your table name now we are going to think of our structure so id integer primary key then name text city text then let's see phone as var integer right so once we have this format ready we can close the bracket and then use semicolon we can go through this again create table then table name then your id which is going to be integer and primary key the name as text, city as text, phone as wire integer. Hit enter and your table is accepted. Now we can take a look at select all from and then users. Then semicolon, hit enter. It will show you the structure of your table here. ID, city, name and phone. Currently we don't have any database. So we'll have to insert some data, then update the data to show you how that works. And finally, you can also use delete statement. So we'll be going through these primary operations here. All right. So let's see if I choose insert into then users, right? And here, if I choose CID name, city and phone and i will have to say values so values within that would be one then some name like my name then your city then five four three two one right these are some of the initial set of entries i wish to enter so hit enter and you have one entry there so you can also add additional just use your arrow key make the changes in new area so let's see if i add entry number two right few changes there just make few entries by changing very minimal things like say city
right then you have like these numbers right and then finally let me hit enter to add one more row like this i want to do it for two more rows right so we have value for one then we have four two three okay if you already have any uh, commands ready you can simply input into sql right so let's add one more thing like say i am changing city and then phone number so the thing is change we have like three entries so if you want you can go for one more right so there is something we have for four so can totally change the name and not be more generic with this right and and another thing would be right so these are some of the things i have added into our table users using insert query right so what we have done so far let's go from the start we managed to create our database we used our key space name then created table called users then i use select query to show you the structure of our table then we are using insert query to insert some data now we will use select all from users now this query will show some data in that table right as you can see i have like these four entries okay now you will also notice that it has messed up with id one two four and three i don't know what it used i suppose the phone number caused this to make that change right so we have like four rows of that data now let's say if i want to change city of uh, id number four right so to do that we can use update okay so this happens it is saying that it has closed the connection so it will lock me in again now i'll have to use the key space name so the army key is the key space right make sure to use the semicolon otherwise it will take you to another light right now i can go back again for select all from users and then it should show me this data nothing is the update part right so if i want to update that i can use update then users where i want to set say city equals to let's say milan for the jane right so jane is milan so her city is changed where id equals to four right and if i use semicolon and hit enter that change will be appended now let's use select query here again and you will notice that berlin is switched to milan for chain right so we managed to use insert command we managed to use update command now let's see if i want to remove a particular id from this table so what i can do i can use delete from then users where id equals to 
four if i would say my colon hit enter that should delete that entry so gn is removed from the table if we go back to table and notice we have like three entries now and gn is removed so one of the user is removed from here now let's see if you want to drop the table you'll just have to use drop table and then name users semicolon that should drop it same you can do with key space as well but it's better to have multiple key spaces ready before you can delete the existing one right so you can still do that you can also use similar operations that you do on table on key space so uh, use key space alter key space drop key space are possible as well so here the focus was basically using the crud operation right so create table then insert some content into table then update that particular content then delete it in and finally there is one more query that we ignored while using as well select query so you can see select all from users where that star symbol on selecting on the rows right so if you want to select anything specific say id name and city from users you can do that in fashion as well id name and city will be shown to you accordingly right and you can increase decrease based on the amount of rows that you have if you want to isolate some rows you want to display some and ignore some you can do that as well right so these are some of the things that you can do with your cassandra query language in astra db so all that you can do with cassandra is possible within astra db right so i hope now you can use sql console in astra for your setup of database and perform the CRUD operation on that particular database.